All right. I'm going to be moving on to the next group of awesome panels. Um, so the role of the young generation in reconciliation. Um, so I'm going to introduce the monitor. Monitor. I can't even speak to that. What's wrong? But uh, Sadia Adin, quick bio of her. Um, she's a senior management consultant focused on strategy and IT. She's a native of Northern Virginia. So she obtained her Bachelor's of Science at George Mason University in Public Health and Health Informatics at the graduate level. She is really passionate about issues pertaining to uh, equity and reconciliation of affairs back home and community development both locally and abroad. So, Sadio Adin. Need this right over to have this? Um, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Right. I, I, I ripped it up. Oh, okay, cool. Let's see. Thank you, Mahdi, for that um, warm welcome. Uh, fun fact, I am Saadia Ali Adhan's niece. So my name is Saadia Adhan as well, and people always confuse us. Um, she's the brains behind this. She's the one who, mashallah, has been doing this for a long time. But it's funny, because people always come up to me like, are you Saadia Adhan that has been in Africa for the past three, four years? I'm like, no, that's not me. Um, <laughs> inshallah, one day, though. Um, I am glad to be also the, being the moderator for this panel because this is a um, topic I'm actually very passionate about um, and I hope inshallah once it's a question and answer that you know, we get into a dialogue because I see a lot of youth in this room and I think it's a very important topic and I would love to hear everybody's input. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, introduce everybody and we're going to start off with Fuad. So Fuad Saif, he holds a bachelor's degree from the University of Maryland College Park. He studied geographical information systems and computer cartography. He's an active member of the community in Silver Spring, Maryland, in which he teaches Quran, reading, and memorization classes to both youth and adults at the Muslim Community Center, as well as being a mentor to the youth program. He enjoys soccer, reading, and writing. Um, he's always looking for ways to empower our youth and the Somali community at large. MashaAllah. Next. Next, we have Faiza Ali. Faiza is a graduate at VC with a biology, biology degree. Upon graduation, she started working in digital marketing at health clinics. She then per, uh, pursued a volunteer opportunity at Edna at Aden Maternity Hospital in Hargeisa. She volunteered for three months and advocated against FGM in rural areas between Ethiopia and Somalia. Uh, when she came back, she worked at various nonprofits such as Fuzia Health Foundation uh, as a director of communications, and she is now a program manager at American College of OBGYN in the Office of Global Women's Health. Her work influenced her to pursue a master's in public health. MashaAllah. <laughs> Next we have Adam Bada. Um, he also goes by Bispas. Um, he is a <laughs> He is a graduate from Midnima University in Dada refugee camp. I actually just also found out that he was raised uh, not born, but I think he was raised in Dadaab for 27 years, and I found that to be very fascinating, so I hope that you could talk about that um, while you're on stage. He is from Pennsylvania. Um, he works for the Center of Refugee and Immigrants. He is a chairman at the Masjid al-Tawfiq in Pennsylvania. And I think he also said that um, since this is for the youth, he wants to speak solely in Somali, so everybody just prepare for that and make sure that you guys are... <laughs> Okay, so they'll all get 10 minutes, inshallah, and then we'll start the open floor for a question and answer. Um, and I believe the panel is going to start with Fuad. Thank you, Saadir, for that uh, introduction. Salaamu alaykum, everybody. So, kind of in conjunction with today's theme of reconciliation and paving pathways, um, a lot of the people that have come up before me to speak uh, greatly touched on the topic of us having two feet, one foot here in the United States, Canada, the Europe, West, as you like to call it, or and having another foot back home in Somalia. And while that is very um, 
significant to how we shape our identity here as you know first generation Somali children of first generation Somali immigrants um, it's very important that we don't set the bar low in terms of what we think is the right way to go about reconciliation right so a lot of us have great intentions about going home to Somalia and establishing nonprofits and getting organizations and communities and and providing job opportunities for people but we're not we're not equipped or we don't have the proper um, experience ourselves to go out and you know and properly implement those processes and properly implement those organizations and those foundations uh, back in Somalia right so I'm sure no one here would hire an, a, an attorney if their only uh, experience was watching every episode of Law and Order SVU right so <laughs> I mean, if you do, you know, you can holler at me because I've watched like every episode. I can't guarantee that you'll win the case, but I think I know what I'm doing, but sorry. Um, so yeah, it's all about understanding that we need to first establish ourselves here. And not to say that everyone needs to be a doctor, a lawyer, engineer, a profession, and you know, an expert in that before they have any sort of impact, right? Because Somalia doesn't just need doctors and lawyers. Right? Our parents all want us to become doctors and lawyers because it is the safest option. It's the reason why they sacrificed a lot of what they did to guarantee that we'll have a stable future. But a lot of us tend to overlook the fact that we need mental health professionals because there's so much PTSD that goes undiagnosed and untreated that has severe effects on not just ourselves, but generations before us and those to come after us because we haven't correctly identified you know the source of of the trauma why the ment why the mental health issue is there and how we can go out about solving it right so it goes back to establishing ourselves here setting up maybe IT firms um, establishing people that are experts in, in medicine and procurement and public policy and, and bettering our lives here while we can make positive impacts here in the country that we live in before we can go back to Somalia and you know help improve people's lives back home because I'm sure a lot of people like the thrill and the rush of you know going back and volunteering and 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 providing a value or, or improving the, the quality of life of somebody else but you know, in our day and age of social media and the, the, the generation that we all live in of, of instant gratification, um, a lot of the times if we don't see direct results immediately, if we don't get the recognition that we maybe are subliminally desiring, we might not have the same energy, we might not have the same drive, we might not have the same um, sort of excitement towards, you know, f completing our tasks. And I think one thing that we all need to remind ourselves is that this is not just a sprint, it's a journey. And we have to be mentally prepared and, 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 and tell ourselves that we may not live to see the fruits of our labor. We may not be alive to see, you know, what we've done and how we've impacted other people. And we need to be okay with that because at the end of the day, it's all about paving the way for those that come after us, making their lives that much easier. Because if you're in it all just for the, the, the fame and, and the recognition, then your sincerity needs to be in, in question. And, you know, in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept the deed, it has to be sincere. It can't be for, for others. So, those are the main topic, those are the main talking points that I wanted to touch upon, reconciliation and kind of shifting focus and, you know, really building our grassroots levels here you know, in our areas, wherever we live, if we live in the DC metro area, all the, all, all the other areas around the states and Canada, and, and really providing input, um, providing value to our communities at home before we can go and say, okay, now let's take what we've learned and, and help, you know, implement it back uh, in Somalia. So, that's pretty much it. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Faisa, and I volunteered at Adna Adhan's hospital in Hargeisa. And I wanted to give my background story on, on how I did that. Um, one, when I was in college, I was, 
I graduated with a biology degree. I didn't know kind of what to do with it because, you know, with um, like parents, they kind of put you, kind of uh, put you, try to tell you like, you know, Dr. Bandoni and I'm like, you know, I want you to be a lawyer or something like that. So, I mean, that was, that was in my head when I was pursuing a biology degree. So, but however, um, one thing that I was really good at was writing. And I used to write a lot when I was a kid. So, and I always kind of liked journalism and communications and, and certain things like that. So, um, so when I graduated, I got a, um, a opportunity to work in digital marketing in some health clinics. So while I was doing that, I just felt like kind of like, um, I kind of, to be honest, I, I, I felt like I had no purpose. Like I was, I was helping out these organizations. However, I just didn't feel like I was impacting. And so my animal was a big aspect in my life. So I decided to, uh, my mom used to always go back to Somalia, but I've only been back once when I was really, really little. But she would go back multiple times and I would kind of like be like yeah nah I mean like I want my summer to be lit here so like I'm not and you know you're in high school you're you're here and there so I didn't want to go back but uh, when I graduated college I felt like you know I, I saw I just needed a purpose so um, one year one I, 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 I um, and then I had the opportunity uh, I just didn't want to stay. It was a three-month stay, so I didn't want to stay and not and and not help because as soon as you get there, I just remember as uh, being a child, um, you will see the the struggles that our people go through. Um, you see you see really nice buildings, but at the end, uh, on the bottom are like bula or, or like or Somali akals that you know our our people are living in. So. Um, that's what prompted me to kind of go back and not just stay in in our house and and just you know and just chill, but really like um, impact some uh, impact something. So going uh, with what Fuad was saying about um, using a skill and making sure that you use a skill and you're uh, you have a purpose. When I was there, I kind of uh, told Anad and that I wanted to work in marketing and I can help you in that effort. So with any of your FGM material or anything like that, I could I could help you design it. I can um, uh, hand out flyers or anything like that. So with that, I got the opportunity to go to um, in between the, the rural cities and uh, set up with a team uh, set up seminars against FGM. And um, so it was an amazing opportunity uh, for me and to kind of fig uh, figure out um, what exactly was the problem, you know, and what exactly was the problem that was going on with our, our people. So with that, um, an underlying um, issue that I never, I felt like today wasn't kind of talked about was tahrib. Like when I felt, I, when I went there, I felt like I had privilege, which in, for the first time, I felt like I never had. Being a Muslim, black, w from an immigrant family, I felt like, you know, I was always kind of like the lowest on the total pole, whether it be high school, college, anything like that. So over there, I kind of felt I had privilege. Everyone who would, all of my cousins knew exactly what I've done, every type of accomplishment. But I looked back and I was like, wow, I really didn't, like, you know, I wasn't really connected with them. So I'm here talking to the youth especially, like, you have cousins, you have, you have people that are back home, talk to them, you know? And if you don't have, if you don't have that link, I mean, it's, I feel like we have an opportunity to not, um, showcase um, our privilege in a, in a, I feel like we don't notice our privilege. So my question that I really wanted to, um, to throw out to you guys is, I don't have the answers to what can stop migration and what can stop a, a little girl who just graduated high school to go by herself and, and basically um, get captured by Libyans and, and, or, or something like that and and potentially die and put herself in danger. And what can we do as a people to kind of alleviate that? Because there was one thing that I just noticed from my own self is that 
Um, and then uh, the uh, people who went to Somalia will know, like, like Somalis cook in girgira, like this little like little coals that you put on a on a uh, uh, a pot, and then you cook with that because there's not actual stoves, right? So I just remember coming back, and before I went, I used to love Snapchatting when I'm cooking. You know, I would love to be like, hey, you know, I'm cooking this today or whatever. So I came back, and I. I remember all of my cousins and everyone that I, I, I met in Somalia looking at my snaps when I'm cooking. And when school in high, I was like, wow, like, is this the, like, I'm privileged. Like, these people don't have anything. And I'm sitting here snapping, like, you know, and I'm not thinking to myself that these people are looking at it like, wow, you know, like, you know, I need to do that and I need to, I need to leave Somalia in any way I can. And, and put the in a school in order to have a life like that, you know? So I just feel like I don't have the answers for it. I don't know what we can do in it as a community to, to eradicate migration, but it's a huge problem that I feel like is not really talked about. And we have a, a responsibility as, as the diaspora to kind of, kind of have a, a connection with the people back home and realize that their, their, the life that they have in Somalia is great and good. And I would love to be born there. I would love to be, you know, from there just because, like, like I feel like they, they just don't understand it. And some of them, you know, not all of them, some of them are doing great works in, in, in Somalia. But however, some of the youth don't have correct infrastructure and they don't have um, um, or they're really actually very, very smart and educated. And, and I, I, you know, a lot of stereotypes that I thought was kind of banished and I was like, wow, these are, these people are, super, you know, very, very smart, but they just don't have the opportunity. So I feel like it's, we need to kind of um, showcase that and um, I was sitting today and, and, and discussing in a group and I was talking to a, a young lady and I was uh, telling her about um, she was like oh there's no book fairs in in Somalia and I would love that to have book fairs and I was like there's actually a really 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 like big book fair that's in Somalia in Hargeisa, Garoue and in um, and in Mogadishu, that is that that blows my mind that people don't know about it that much here, but they know everything about you here. So make sure that you have a linkage back home and you show them and you and you and you show them that th even although although they're in circumstances, we are here for them and we acknowledge them just like the the way that they're looking at us to make sure that we are are looking at them and their accomplishments. That's all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Na magaiyu halira da Adam, Adam na datkarun wa kuhal el lugat Englishka el datkarun wa kuhal el lugat Englishka marka ani ga wahan dorte ina Somali kuhal la mahayeli na. سومالي جا معناها يعني وحن أركين وصيل وما ي حفلة بدنا نتيجة رنتي إنجليش كلا هو الله لكن لغة دين معناها يعني رنتي إن مركز لغة هذا نوعي في عنده please please don't judge me if you don't speak English I mean سومالي أنت سواي معناها الحمد لله وثناء لله وصلاة وسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وبعد معناها أنا جا مقعي وحلي رادا آدم سنهر وشبيب وحن وكل شيء الصومالي جارهان جول كلي رادا كسماي فعلا معناها يعني قف قصة قار قبله إن قصة عمله لا قبلها مش كان لي آدم يريهن إن أمريكا كل شيء نظرينا لكن أنا يوحى كل شيء سوماليا إن جول كلي رادا كسماي إن فنتي إن مركي أنا جوير أيام سوق حي وحنا بد مش لي رادا إن دندر إن جارهان إن مش لي رادا إفو 
وحبرشدة يدي ماشا حب اللابي ايدو وليبا اي معناها مارتي وحبرشدة مانتا عروتا عن حدا هايسان اهل هايسن معناها يعني ايوه قلقتا هاي ان معناها يعني بوكي يقلنكي ايوه دير الحب هاي ان لهلا مع ذلك ان الهي معناها يا مادس كلا هاي ايدا ايا نعاوي ومعناها مارتي اسكول ايوه دير الحب هاي وحبرا نوفري الكدب سکول کی میشن کل میسی و حاکل معنای مرتی میشن کل میی قرآن که و میشن کل حفظی ل سکول کی مرکان دمی 2005 کان دمی حرفت لارس دی حقه دینیم اینا معنای مرتی اینا نصوص برتر ماشاالله ملفی عالم کجایی دت بدران معنای مرتی کعوی علی مذا معنای یعنی ل و حد مدا سید دو علی مذا یعنی الهی و حکلی هی السجوري أه أي الله صدري دبكي مركز صور دفن مركز صور قحين علماء دي والله صدري معناها هذا مركي أي معناها مرت أمريكا سو أدين علماء دي هذا اللي سو راعي محيلي إني أني كاحان إني هذا اللي حكم ووووش كيان إسلام ك إني دين تبران إني نح جوجان إن مركز معناها يعني علماء دي ومرت إن ونور أدوين وإله نسيج من كسر معنا يعني إنه معنا يعني إن كده ذلا وفي عنده من ذلك الرسول صلى صلى الله عليه وسلم حير كن عالما أو محبا أو معينا ولا تكون خامسا معناها عالم نقو مد وحبر النقو والنقو يسي مد معناها يعني متعلمة أو أرضية هو حبر ما ينقو والنقو يسي أو متعلما أو معينا أما مدكي العلماء دي معلمك عالمك عاون أيه يعني وعلى يبقى معلمك إنه دتك وحشي أيه هير كيس هدي هدي العاوزة معناها مرتي ال وصوغر شيء معناها يعني مقرد أو محبا أما مد جعل معناها يعني إنه وحبرت العلماء يعني مركز الجعل إلى الموت مركا ولا تكون خامسا مد الشناط هنقول إنه يرى الرسول كم على مرت سکود دی این تاس اینا معنای مرت این لگاه نه کدیب این رنتی مکسور کوی کرد معنای یعنی وحش سومری این مرا رنتی اسود دیار گروبی محیلی وحش کنوره ملی را ده جبرلی را ده بزرگیه این سعدی جبرلی را ده جدال تاجن ایا معنای مرت این نیمایت رئیسی و انصاف عادی این حقا یعنی این آنگو آه این بزرگیه Center Center of Brazilian Center for Refugees and Immigrants. We have also been in our border community. We have also been in our 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 community. وحن في لاي إن معناها يعني ال ال وحبرشة فري اللي هري دور جوري فري اللي هري دور معناها يعني ال وحول ب معناها ما في عنتو فري اللي هري دور لكن it's different سير في لاي بنقول مركا ال وحول ما ينايا وري بس سينجل مركا تاعي ووده كان وري وار تاني كسو صبري سينجل مركا تاعي لابد من الله لابد من الله رئيس حوا معناها وصوا عيا كده بنا عندنا معنا يقول لك هذا محنس وهذا ركت مشان مركا ال أنت وحكوني بيد أنا جا أبهي ولا شيء يقول لك هاي مركا ال فتي ال وحن معناها يعني جدي واس ويدني جوري أنا كجرني مركا ليري بشان إذا كأسك بحنا يا مركا ليري فتي معناها يعني ال أد بي معناها يعني هوش لو خبرتي وحد عضي إن إن الشقوين باللوني إن معناها مرتي حتى إنجليش كذا كاس كل هذي دي لبي طبعا جرال يقول لي كل علم حاتي حيل the action is different right معناها action كمعناها يعني لغدا يعني الله الله كي الله الله هي لغدا is different مركا فنتي عقبة ووينا كمعنا مرتي كلا سوكلون لكن أنا جا وحبرشدة علمي وحبرنا لقى فائدة 
علمي وحكفة إلي مالين مال مهر لقى ميدا أدي معناها أد سبر موجسد مالين إلا جاري دورا معناها بعد تارجت كأليلة هاي إنك جاري دوت الحمد لله هذا وو جاري تارجت كي وأنا قد تك هذا عاوية وأنا قد هيدا هلا شقية ال ال سنة كصوص عذرنا إن شاء الله وحنا جينا يا الدولة الصومالي أنا الله شقية وأنت بس كي قلت أنت كده وحربة ال رنتي ال حضر كسيف عن أم كساي ال إسلامك فوبيا ده هال معناها عدان كلا كين أنا جا بابليك فوبيا وعلى ده هقوا مركا ال خلال هذا ال وعبس ده رنتي أنت أنت سقوف مركي معناها مرت أصور فريست لكن وحبا إسكيب بدل مركا مشان إمد ال سيدا وفيلا يمن قنن رنتي رنتي أنت مشا فدي اللي أنت وايسو دافيس قبلها هذا الكيكو الله يعني معناها يعني هذا أمي زامي يقول لي رضي معناها يعني ويلش خنتي علم علم هذا معناها يعني هذا المكان في لي خنتي أدب معناها يعني إيد حقادي ال وحكوا شيء يا ودنا كان هذا جونا قول والبول الجاري قبل ركض بس قول ودن كان يعني قول والبول الجاري قبل ركض معناها يعني كذا بس حكوش جاية ال وحان وحان سمايا شقاء أنا جان لي هاي رنتي وحيرة أنا كوب جولي استيا كميدة أنا قف أشقي أنا أنا جا شقي التارجت التارجت كأن جاري كميدة هاي معناها أنا أنا جا my own boss أنا قضون شقي استا كل ده يسكب بحية أنا جا العقد أنصور عصا ده حلا الله ال وحان كشقي يا إسفتال ال شقدة سومالي ده مركز لقصة إسفتال كشقي معناها مرت داود أيان دليفر كريا ال معناها تراك أيان معناها سوي بسدي سيان أنا جو سوام فعم حيالي صلاة دم تكوني زد إيو كان ما معناها يعني ال you can you cannot express your thought إيو معناها وحاسدة وأكون بحالي مقرط بحالي ال وحام مركا استال أيان كش قيا استال كو حكش قيسة ال طبعا يا شن كون أيان كش قيسة طبعا إيشن كون معناه ضد ير ما fifteen thousand I think fourteen thousand هون واي استوالك سو 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 كلا سعده سي النظام كا يعني ما ملين كرترون تي هذا وجعله مركا هذا وفر حسنا هاي قبله هاي نصومال إذا معناها مرتي ال وحي هذا ما أنت ماشى على خد بدي أكيد جيرين أدب معناه اللي أنت يسود في سي مرك قار ال رنتي يعني أنا معناه يعني وحبي إني شيء غير إسلامي فوبيا مركب الأولية هاي don't mind نتكلم واحد دونا حسب حسب يعني دينا عن كلا صو كصومر مركب أديك دينا عن إسلامي فوبيا نعيب مركب كتوسان دينا عن كلا صومر أديك قدر شو ذا كسوري كتوسان يا معناها مالين وحد عادي مالين وحد عادي ال I was driving معناها بالتمر يوحد حلو كشقي ماشي لي هذا بزرفينيا مركا جاري أيا دنعة ويلا اس ناق عدانا أيا معناها بنان كتاجر قام هذا شيء كروس جست لجريس because معناها وقرموا أيه وأركي هاي ويجا سو هايستي وأركي وفيري سأوصل سعودي تراجع عن صهر دقي معناها مرتي الجاري هذا إسلام معناها يعني وصبحي أنا بوليس نميه وحكلا نميه الستيت فام نميه ماشي يعني مد وح وحس وعلى وراء بين مركز كتري جاري عنو جرا أسر جاري أسر غاز كي جاري غاز كي غاز ماله so that's why دينا عودي قتى معناها قف كلو ما أنت أي هلم كرينا يعني ماله حس مي الجاري يقول الله بتي ماشي بواج يو معناها مرت قلمان تي يلا نك حقي صفر يسائري وقاضي غاز صوص شوي هاي ويا هذا ندب صوقاتي جاري ده غاز صوص شوي وابحث وقولي بالغاز كأنا معناها مرت أقضي مركز حوا عبارة شيء كسر نكوري معناها أنا جا جبر عدانا وحكوري يقول تمت أنت صوب حد وقولي بأمريكانا thanks جبر عدانا أو أمريكانا أنت معناها يعني twenty four hours plane أي معناها أنت صوب هذا تي نداب يقول تمت يو يدسي حالة ده كدبنا معناها مرتي إلهي بفضي لكن 
أيضاً معناها الأفضوبة أيضاً معناها يعني الريسك بدل وجود المشاس إنت الديارة سوق على المشاس تمت يسوع عاوز قبل عدنا هاي زمان نكمل ما أنت له معناها يعني مسلم كوا نعبة what what's the different ما قلت قبل دي مركا مركا أول شيء قبل فنتو عاوز أد بي معناها مرتي ما أنت اسمع معناها أنا لفتي ده وغيره مركا وحن سكوت دينا مركز إن أيجا أنا عاوين الدكان إن هو حكنا عن دعنا إن معناها حق يعني في عن أو أنا جا أنت اسمه إن دت في عن نهي ما قلت إن معناها مالك استا أوفيس ك معناها يعني عن كل نهي كمل تقدر حديث وحن كمل تقعدنا دت ك معناها يعني عدان كأه سدا ويلفير ت سدا عندنا بحكم هاي إن سكول ده برنسبل كسكول ك معناها يعني حتى مايك تام وولف بنسلفانيا غفرنا معناها يعني ولا كلنا يوم لا أدرس الله ولا كلنا وحتى سنيد دتك معناها يعني إن أنا هاي دت دونا يا دتك دل كان معناها يعني نكس وعاونا يا سما دكان سما أنا جنا إن غير كنا هاي إن عاونا معناها إن تسنا إن دت في عنا هاي إن تسنا إن أنا جنا دل كان أيجا أنك جعلنا سما ذلك أن إن أنا جعلنا هو أيضا تصنع لكن رنتي مر مر خارنا معناها مر كل هذا عنك سومالي وملها كتجا ملها سوح كقارحين حوا هذا النور معناها يعني إنه وح ما لا يرنتي إن إن وقت وقعنا ماضي ما لا يصدق يا رنتي رنتي don't judge me please We'd like to say thank you to Fa'ad, Faiza, and Adam. Um, I really think that it's funny how kind of